Darius Slay complaining about going to Brazil. C.J. Gardner-Johnson had some complaints about it as well. I mean, look, it, 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 I hate this phrase, but it's true. It is what it is. I mean, you get assigned to play wherever, whenever. You have no say in it, and the NFL decided Eagles-Packers goes to Brazil. I still hope the people in Brazil realize the quality of the game they're getting after all the crap that we've been sending to London for the past 17 <laughs> years. Eagles-Packers is an amazing game that I hope they don't take this for granted. But uh, I, you, you didn't have to go play in London, did you? You did. guys didn't do it. Did, did, did or didn't? No, yep. I, did, I did London and, and Mexico City. Okay. All right. So – I mean, how do you come to terms with the, you know, I, it's you're just showing up with your lunchbox. It's like any other work day. We're just working in a different building. And, and each team does it differently. Like my brother has played on teams where they did the week in London, where they were out there. They got to explore. They got to do. I never experienced that when we when we played in London. What a shock. Out. What a <laughs> shock. What a shock. Bill <laughs> Belichick wouldn't let you guys have fun. We flew out Thursday night. We got there Friday morning. They told us to stay awake, try to get adjusted because we're here for a short amount of time. We got there Friday. We You had some free time Friday morning. Then we got together. We met. We went a, a run through, walk through practice Saturday. We had meetings in the morning. You had call it four to five hours of free time, grab lunch, walk around maybe for a little bit. And then next thing you know, it's Saturday night. It's the night, it's the night before the game. You're ready to go. And very similar, similar to what Slay said, when we went to Mexico City, we got the same, we got the same speech of, hey, it's not that safe. You should stay in the hotel, blah, blah, blah. You don't realize really what it is until we got off the plane, we landed, we got on the buses. And next thing you know, there's people in front of us in the back of a Jeep with AKs and they're sitting and we're driving through town and all of us are like, where the hell, like, do we need all of that? Like, what is going on here? And it was the true. I remember being in Mexico City. We stayed in Colorado Springs for the week because we had played Denver before. So we stayed out there, got adjusted to the high altitude for practice, practice over at Air Force. And we flew in. So because we were close already, we flew in. Day before the game, did our meetings, went to sleep that night, woke up the next day, played the game straight to the airport. And like people are like, how's Mexico City? I have no idea. I know how the JW Marriott and, Me and Mexico City is. And that was it. There was no like, let's door dash, let's do. It was none of that. You went there to play a game and you understand it's growing the game for the NFL. But as far as a player, what you just said is the truth. It is what it is. You focus in on... If you're the Eagles, you focus in on how you beat the Packers. The Packers, you focus in on how you beat the Eagles. You go play a game, and you're, like Slay said, all you think about play the game and let's get back home to my family. Because if I want to go to Brazil, I'm probably not going under this circumstance. And it'll be a totally different decision of what I want to do, where we go. So this is not that. This is not that at all. You're just going to play and win a football game. You wouldn't have needed the AKs if you had Big Dom when you went to Mexico City. <laughs> Just put Big Dom on the Jeep and nobody's messing with you. Uh, but that's the only mindset you can have. And the, I, I look at this and I, I don't want to be critical of Nick Sirianni unless it's necessary. But I don't remember any of the Patriots complaining about going to Mexico City before you guys went to Mexico City. The message gets sent to the team. And I know the world is different now because everybody's got a podcast and everybody's yeah. got a voice. But even then... If you're buying into the message you're getting from the coach, you're not sitting there in front of a chalkboard, which was actually kind of a cool look, complaining about <laughs> going to Brazil because your questions have already been answered to your satisfaction by your coach. The mere fact that someone is saying these things publicly, pass fail, it's a little fail for Nick Sirianni not making sure, like Belichick surely did with you guys, the message is sent. This is what it's going to be. It is what it is. Complaining about it serves no purpose at all. It's like it's like what you just said before we came back on air. You're going to pick all the playoff teams. When you get it right, no one cares. They don't commend you. They don't say anything. When you get it wrong, they call you an idiot. They tell it's the same thing in this situation. When we were in New England, hey, it worked. That's the way you're supposed to do it because we won. And Bill didn't tell us not to talk about the game. When we came in that week, 
with a lot of colorful language, he would tell us no one cares about where we're playing. Just shut the F up and we're going to play a football game. That would be his message to us. So whether you kind of took that as like, well, let me go talk about the game in the media or my podcast, you you just heard it Wednesday morning or this since it's the opening. We would have heard this since the second week of training camp or like whatever. T- and every time he spoke about the game, it would be another mention of just shut the F up. We're going to play football. And it would just be over and over again. So then everyone was like, okay, you started to believe it didn't matter that we were going to Brazil. You start to be like, oh yeah, the NFL is going to come in and tell us that it doesn't. The same thing you talked about Brady saying, Hey, no one gives us a shot. When you hear it over and over again from your head coach, you start to be like, he's right. No one is giving." And it's, To me, it doesn't matter for Philly unless they go out there and they seem like they're not ready to go compared to the Packers because I could be wrong. I haven't listened to everything, but I don't know if we've heard the Packers talk about other than, hey, we were in a meeting. They said X, Y, and Z. We're going to play a football game, and that's been it. But I've heard, like I've heard A.J. Brown talk about it. You mentioned C.J. Gardner-Johnson. It's just, to me, it's a little bit of personalities. Like the Eagles have more guys who have bigger personalities who like talking about different things. It doesn't matter as long as you're ready to go play a game. But if they don't win, then this will be a subject. It will be something that's talked about. But I do think at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you talk about all these things unless you lose the game, because then people will use that as the reason you lost the game. But inherently, I don't think this goes into your game planning or what you're doing. Like, I don't think this is going against slay study of the Packers offense and how Jordan Love is going to be affected. I don't think it has anything to do with it, but when you decide to talk about different things, and like you said, when you have a podcast, anything you say on there will be used the next week if you don't play well or if the team doesn't win. The only thing I remember from anyone with the Packers was months ago, Josh Jacobs, the running back who signed there after his career began in Las Vegas with the Raiders, saying about the green uniforms like you can't wear green or some weird stuff like that that was it there was no complaint about brazil maybe a little bit but as we get closer and closer to this the packers are quiet and the eagles aren't hi it's mike florio thanks for watching pft on youtube hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from pro football talk